today's topic and we are looking again at uh, marriage and uh, this time we are looking at marriage is like Christ love Christ love for his chosen people now uh, who I'm gonna say that basically you know how you, a husband shows his love for his wife by uh, giving her comfort and uh, taking care of her well let's say that Jesus Christ showed his love for his wife by sacrificing himself for her upon the cross and when I say her I mean you and I now no Jesus is not into that kind of lifestyle it's a symbol of him being the husband and the church which is the church basically is the wife and the church comprised of people now I wonder why is the church a wife? Well, the, if you go to the dictionary, the church has a feminine gender. If you speak any other language, like French, then you will say une église. Une is the feminine gender for un, which is the masculine gender. So church is a feminine word. That's why the Bible says, and give up himself for her. Just to give you guys that little part. Basically, the idea is, when Jesus Christ died upon the cross for your sin and my sin, that is to show his love. That's why it says in John 3.16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whoever believeth in him, should not perish but have everlasting life without further ado Marriage is like Christ's love for his chosen people. Let's see. In both the Old and New Testament. In both the Old and New Testament. The marriage relation is employed to represent the tender and sacred union that exists between Christ and his people, the redeemed ones whom he has purchased at the cost of Calvary, LYL 16.1. Well, um, I guess maybe now that makes sense. Uh, so, remember be before Christ came to the world, there was a symbol of a lamb, with the, well, it was a continual sacrifice, but we called it daily sacrifice, and there was the annual sacrifice. The, the continual sacrifice was to kill a lamb. Well, when Jesus Christ came, that was that lamb, was the, 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 the type, met the intertype, which is Jesus Christ. He was the lamb, which means, there is no more need to kill animals because Jesus Christ sacrificed himself for all humanity. And that love purchased, or I would say he, Jesus Christ, purchased us back. Yes, 
he purchased us back as his wife. It's a common knowledge. Back in those times, you could, I guess, you had, well, even now, in some countries, to marry a woman, you have to pay something, you have to buy a certain thing for the whole family. Well, then let's say that this is, the, this is an example. So Jesus bought us, in a sense. And that's how we became his wife. In a sense, but we were already his wife. It's just that we left him for Satan and and because we were tricked by Satan and so now he had to pay in a sense to get us back, which is what he did at Mount Calvary. But let's regret let I I progress. Let's move on. Fear not, he says, thy maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Turn, O backsliding children. <laughs> Whew, okay, saith the Lord of, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you. Isaiah 54 verse 4. And verse 5 and Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 14. Funny thing, now we are studying the book of Isaiah. So we're going to get there as well. In the Song of Songs, which is the Song of Solomon, we hear the bride's voice saying, My beloved is mine, and I am his. And he who is to her, the chiefest among ten thousand, speaks to his chosen one thou art all fair my love that there is no spot in thee song of solomon 2 verse 16 5 10 and 4 verse 7 now let's talk about this part right here it's very interesting um so remember i just said earlier that because we went to Satan, meaning, okay, when we sin, we go to Satan. That's what it means. And Jesus said, no, I purchased you with my blood, so you don't have to be um, tricked by Satan and being held by Satan. Because in the sense, well, I'm going to, I put it as we ran onto Satan. No, Satan in a sense kidnapped us. I guess that's a better way of putting it. Satan kidnapped us and Jesus had to pay a ransom for his woman. And the ransom was uh, paid by his blood. So now he took us back from Satan. But now what we do is we're supposed to belong to Jesus, but we want to fornicate with Satan. Ouch. Yeah, we're becoming adulterers. And that, that's, what it, that's what it means right here. Turn all backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am married, married unto you. Turn from what? From sin. Well, who or why do we sin? Because we want to spend time with Satan. That's it. And we are supposed to have a husband. Then we are cheating on the husband, which makes us cheaters or adulterers. It's that simple. Now, if you are mad about it, well, I guess you can do something about it. But I can't really do much because um, there is not much I can do for that part. Now, let's continue. On the second part, where he talks about uh, the chiefest among 10,000 speaks to his chosen one. Thou art all fair, my love. Now, think of it that way. Think of it this way. You have you have a, a wife, okay? And the, the, the wife is fine. 
I'm trying to, to take it from a spiritual perspective and see if I can put it into a literal aspect. Okay? You have a wife, okay? And your wife is fine. Are you going to tell your wife that she's fine? Or would you prefer somebody else to tell her she's fine? And when I say fine, I mean she has a pretty face, a nice breast, a nice body shape, and she is in shape all around. I call that fine woman. Now, would you say that to her or would you let somebody else say it to her? Look right here. My be no. That out all my that out all fail my love. There is no spot in thee. This is Jesus, I'm gonna assume for the moment. It could be either no, it has to be Jesus. Saying that to his bride. Why? Because when Jesus comes the second time, his wife will be a perfect untainted, undefiled, blameless, fail, no spot in her. We have to become that. That's why we are talking about marriage, which is in a sense, which is in a sense, the union between Christ and his wife, the people, his chosen people. That is what is going on right here. So, as I mentioned in a, my in a previous video, you are supposed to be the people that Christ wants to marry. If you keep on going back to Satan, then you have made your choice. If you want to stay with Christ, He will stay with you. But that's the idea. And let us not be let us not be uh, stubborn, backsliding. Or the, yes, Satan will always come to tempt you so you can backslide to go back with him. But we need to overcome sin. James four verse seven: Submit yourself unto God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. That's how it works. But you know what? Uh, I'm going to stop. Oh, I, mean, I have to stop right here actually because that's all we have. And this paragraph is taken from LYL, LYL 16.2. So that's it for today guys. My name is Maury Michel. I hope to see you guys again. Until then, 